My name is Tom Skarlinski. I'm a USDA identifier in the Port of Miami. I also specialize in identifying Thysanoptera. Alrighty, they've dropped off another thrips. <laughs> so we have to figure this one out. We're going to go to um, couplet number one. Um, and we can pretty much go ahead and, and we'll scroll down. So segment 10 of the abdomen. Does it appear conical or does it appear tubular? Um, my vote is for conical. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the four wings. We can pretty much see there's a nice row of venal CD. We've got nice longitudinal veins with CD on there. Let's go ahead and see if we can see that ovipositor uh, right here. We can go ahead and we'll amp up the magnification a little bit. We can see that it's serrate. So we pretty much we've effectively eliminated that this is not a, a tubulifera. We've got a terebrantia. So now what we want to do is we want to shoot down to couplet 7. Now let's take a look at our sense cones on antennal segment 3. Well, we've got the antenna up here. We'll go ahead and get a count. We've got one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. What we want is segment three and segment four. All right, let's go ahead. We've got segment one, two, and let's go ahead and let's try to work our way north a little bit there. Now we're at 400 times magnification and our we have an emergent sense cone. In other words, it's not part of the antennal segment. It's not a longitudinal or a transverse structure on the antennal segment. It's actually coming out and it looks like I, like I always say a bull's horn. It's basically attached there at the bottom of that U. And just to highlight it, it starts right up about here's the tip and then works down here's your base and up here. Here is. All right, so we have a forked sense cone. So we're going to move over to couplet number nine. And we want to check the legs are covered with transverse rows of microtrichia. Microtrichia are just like CD wannabes. In other words, they never really get long. They're very small um, um, uh, CD. And these microtrichia always look at them as kind of razor stubble. If you can uh, uh, have a, a, a visual image of that. So let's go ahead and we're going to look at, it doesn't really matter. We'll look at the foreleg. Here's the four tibia. And let's go ahead and see if we can, we can spot these guys. These are microtrichia. So you notice as I, as I change focal planes, you see the microtrichia under these rolls. Um, we can go ahead and just to, um, it's a little more difficult to see on the, on the tibia, but let's go ahead and work south to the other legs. Um, here in the middle legs, you can see the uh, microtrichia, and there on the tibia, there's microtrichia. I don't know if I have enough magnification here to really see it. There we go. You can see it a little bit there in this area right here, the microtrichia. So our unknown does have microtrichia in rolls on the legs, and we have a cerico -thripiny.